they make on average one hundred and sixteen thousand um, dollars, a little bit more, one sixteen six hundred and sixty one dollars, which is dope. You and I, when I do a lie. What's up you guys, this is Adana. welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already done so, go ahead right now, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram at Adana PA. So yeah, you guys asked me about the specialties, right? Um, I talk about how much lateral movement we have and how we can go from here to there, and that's what I really love about the profession, but you really don't know all of the different areas that you can go into. So I found this website um, that had an article breaking down various different physician assistants specialties and their salaries associated with them. You can always go to NCCPA, which is the like certification board for the PAs, um, and they will have their information, um, the same information as well, because that's where they got, uh, this article got that information for them. The first one, I, I guess we can start from like top to bottom, highest paying to like least paying, right? So the first one is pathology PA. So pathology meaning like, like a coroner, like working in that that sense in that lab like figuring out pathology those PAs make on average $119,000 a year and their starting salary or like their midpoint is usually 110,000 which is really good so the next um, specialty that one can go into if you're trying to become a PA is dermatology um, and so dermatology PAs you know they're studying the skin um, they make on average 118,000 so this particular article says 118 $18,145. Um, that sounds really good. And if you're really into derm or you have like a love for derm, then that is the area for you. The next highest paying one is emergency medicine. They make on average $116,000, um, a little bit more, $116,661 which is dope. Um, and obviously, like depending on how you schedule yourself, you can like moonlight at other emergency rooms and make more money if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> Right, like who's not who's who's not into making more money, right? So if you want to, if you want to work harder, you can go ahead and do that. The next highest paying one is a critical care PA. So critical care PAs are your PAs that work in the ICU, and they make about one hundred and fourteen thousand. That's kind of like your average salary a year. So there are going to be people that make more than that, and there are going to be people that make a little bit less than that starting out. But on average, you're at one hundred and fourteen thousand. All of your surgical subspecialties, like you know neurosurgery, cardiothoracic surgery, um, surgical oncology, that kind of stuff. That's your next subset of specialties. So you can go into all of these various different areas. Um, and they make on average 113,000 a year. You can also just be like a general surgery um, PA uh, and they make on average 106,000 a year. So the other subspecialty that you can go into is like adolescent medicine. Um, I really don't, like I hadn't heard of that before, but they make on average 81,000. Gynecology makes 87,000. I mean, 87,000 sounds pretty darn good to me. I don't know. If I'm making that straight out of like college and I'm getting to learn and like just bolster myself as a PA, I think I'd be fine with that. Um, pediatrics, uh, they tend to make 88,000. The OBGYN PAs, which is the area that I wanna go into, makes $89,942 a year on average. Those are the ones with like the salaries, but there are so many other areas that you can go into. You can go into pulmonology, you can go into cardiology, you can go into palliative medicine, you can go into pain management, you can go into hospice, you can be a hospice, hospitalist PA, you can go into urology. Literally think of an area in medicine that you're interested in and then be like, hmm, I wonder if PAs can work there. And more than likely they can. Um, and if they don't have a PA in that particular area yet, maybe you can be like the forerunner in that area and you can like go pave the way for other PAs. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, gave you not only some specialties that you can go into, but also the salaries of those various different specialties. You can make your choices based on that or just based on your love for the profession. You can always go to NCCPA's website 
website and find out more information on the various different specialties that the PA profession offers and their salaries. I hope this was helpful. If you have not done so already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, leave me a comment. Also, if you have any questions about this video or other, anything else, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below as well. Like this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.